Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you the steps to install ESXi which is actually a hypervisor from VMware. So we have discussed what are the type 1 hypervisors. In, in type 1 hypervisor we have machines, on that machine we can have NIC, hard disk, CPU, RAM, so all hardware devices are there. And then on top of that those devices we install hypervisor. And so type 1 hypervisors are directly installed on the physical hardware or the bare metal hypervisors they don't have their own operating system and this is what we will we'll be doing in this video and on that hypervisor we can actually create multiple virtual machines with its own operating system and its own application programs and there are multiple hypervisors so we will be discussing about VMware vSphere ESXi this is what we'll be discussing but there are other vendors in the market who also provide type 1 hypervisors so let's start the installation of ESXi hypervisor in my um, VMware workstation pro because I don't have the bare metal hardware at the moment to show you that now to install ESXi first we need the ISO file and to download ISO file, we go to google.com and here we write VMware ESXi download. And uh, then it will show you, you the link that is there. So download VMware vSphere hypervisor for free. So we just down click there. And this will lead to us to a new link here. You can see top VMware hypervisor resources here. First, we have to download this vSphere uh, hypervisor install and configure and but for that we need to have an account so for that it says that here and I have an account or create an account so first for example if you don't have an account then you can click here on create an account and during creation of an account you need to give your details email address and passwords maybe names and, and rest of the details so for me, I already have an account, so I'll, I'll just click here, so I have an account and after that, I'll give my details here. On this screen, you can see they have given you the license and download here. So in license and download uh, section, you will have some link which will show you the uh, license key. And then you will have here the download packages so it's vmware vsphere hypervisor binaries and i'll be downloading this the manual download for from this and this requires 64-bit capable servers and uh, actually in our case we will be uh, using vmware workstation pro and just we click on manual download here and this will start downloading this vmware VMWiser installer ISO which is actually ESX, ESXi ISO file ESXi specifically 8.0 version and as I don't have the bare metal hardware with me I don't have the physical machine so I'm using VMware workstation and but the installation steps will be same so just this is for demonstration purpose so now to create this uh, ESXi machine here I'll to installation steps I have to just click on create a new virtual machine and uh, then typical recommended option I have already selected there and now we have to click next and here I have to give the location of the ISO file which I have just downloaded so I have that file in my downloads folder which I have already downloaded after creating an account on VMware so I'll just click on browse and here you can see in my downloads folder I have this VMware v, uh, VMWiser installer and this 8.0 and this is what I have downloaded now I'll click there and now I have this ISO file here and after after giving the path to this ISO file I'll click next and here I'll uh, I have this VMware ESX and here let's say if we have this uh, uh, so we don't have this option at the moment so VMware ESXi 7 and later we select this option and we click next and here this is the path where this virtual machine will save all the relevant files so this is there that is ESXi 7 and later maybe I can give this a particular date maybe let's say we have here uh, any date let's say 224 
and uh, we select with two, two three dots there okay then we click next we get path and here this is the maximum disk size which you will allocate so that the, the virtual machine's hard disk is stored as one or more files so maybe we can give it a size of let's say 200 and since the recommended size for vmware esxi 7 and later is 142 but uh, when we'll be creating more virtual machines on this ESXi, so which is actually the job of ESXi to allow us to create multiple virtual machines. So for that, we need to have more space. Uh, so I have selected this 200 GB for that. And then we click next. And now we have these all options. And addition to that, like see, you can see there, there's the name, there's the location and operating system. Everything has been selected. If you want to make Further changes in the hardware, you can click here on customize hardware. And the customized hardware, I would give more RAM, or we I'll allocate more RAM to be used for this ESXi because it will be slower otherwise. So I'm giving this RAM here, which you can scroll. I have uh, 16 GB on my laptop. And then I say close here. And then we say finish. After we are done with that, you can see we will have here this ESS7 and later that was the virtual machine uh, name. And then we power on this virtual machine. Even we can still actually edit this virtual machine. You click on edit and you can see all these settings here, options. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want to change the name here, maybe that was, so that was the name of the directory. And in the same way, if we change the name here, of this virtual machine you can have any i mean, name just i want to make it similar say okay and now you can see the same name is shown here and now if we click on power on this virtual machine and now it has started uh, like uh, loading relevant files for installing for installing esxi 8.0.4 and now depending on the speed of my computer it may take some time but i'm using vmware workstation pro to show the installation steps but this is actually type 1 hypervisor which i discussed at the start of the video that we need to have bare metal and on top of bare metal we install this type 1 hypervisor after a wait of uh, eight minutes I can see this screen it shows that welcome to VMware ESXi installation and uh, this installs on most system but only system on VMware 5's compatibility guides are supported so it says that select the operation to perform so we want to continue this we have to just click continue here just by pressing enter key and it says that asking for accepting the uh, like the license agreement we say yes and for that we need to press f11 as you can see here scanning for available devices and this may take a few seconds and now this could select a device to install or upgrade so we have already selected the device that is virtual hard disk 200 gb we already selected so we press enter to continue and then this is the keyboard layout us default we are happy with that and now we have to configure a password which we need when we'll be accessing this esxi so for that i'm going to configure a password here and you need to remember this password sometimes we forget this password is very much important password match and again we press continue by pressing enter and now we have to install it again we have to press f11 key to start installing and you can see installation progress uh, progress 27 percent and maybe i'll fast forward it and now you can see that a window appears which is asking us to reboot by pressing enter and installation is complete so I just press enter here I have to click inside it and then press enter and it has started loading and actually 
it may take some time in in different cases because i'm on my laptop and using vmware workstation pro for that it may be slower for me so it may not take longer in your case maybe or maybe it may take longer depending on the speed of our, your computer which you'll be using for but for me you can see this is taking um, maybe a bit long Finally, we can see a window which shows that this has been completed and this shows here that to manage this host go to this IP address. So at the moment I'm using as I told you that I'm using VMware Workstation Pro and to access this ESXi, I have to go to this IP address from my browser and from there I can access this ESXi machine. And now we go to our browser. And first we have to note the IP address that is 192.168.10.140. Use IP address that is maybe 192.168.10.140 and press enter. And you can see with this IP address shows that your connection is not private. It's trying to access ESXi machine and it's, it has generated a warning. Um, but for me, I know that I'm using it, but I don't have at the moment any certificate configured there. So simply I can click on advanced and uh, here I can say, uh, I can I simply click on proceed to this IP address. So this server could not prove that is this is its security certificate is not trusted anyway. We don't have any certificate configured at the moment. So we just simply click on proceed. And this is the very first window appears once we have installed ESXi machine or the hypervisor. And after that, we have to give here our uh, username and password. So our username was root and the password which we configured and we need to remember that password. So I'm going to con use that password. And after that, we have to maybe here, I have to zoom in. I have to click login. And if the credentials are right, then we will land to this window or this, this screen. It says that help us improve uh, VMware host client. But at the moment, we are not uh, we are not interested in sending these things. So I just uncheck it and click OK. And after that, you can see this is the window. Uh, this is the screen or the interface of our ESXi host, which we install in our VMware. So here from here, you can see these... Uh, uh, vCenter so get vCenter server so at the moment we are not getting it maybe in uh, in maybe a next video we'll install it for management purpose we have this vCenter server which we can get and then if you want to create virtual machines we can also create virtual machines using this option we want to shut down reboot refresh so we'll be exploring maybe these options in future videos but at the moment it shows that this is the host and at the moment on that host we don't have any virtual machines because you know that this is the type 1 hypervisor it allows us to create multiple virtual machines but at the moment we don't have any virtual machine and if we click on storage so this is the storage we selected and uh, rest of the storage we have here uh, 70 gb is free where we can uh, install uh, where we can create further virtual machine and this is some networking um, uh, the virtual switches there and now I'll show you that if we want to manage it, like we can do auto start, swap, time and date. So these are further configuration we can make. And, uh, and also if you want to activate this product, then we have to click on manage and click on licensing. 
and at the moment we uh, we haven't given any license here but we have received a license once we have uh, actually registered on their on their side and uh, the assigned license key maybe i can assign this license key because i'm already registered there so in this one i can give that key which i have on this side here and check license they say okay assign license so now license now license has been assigned and you can see vSphere 8 hypervisor installed and we click back on host and now I think we are done with this installation that was the installation for ESXi 8.0 and I hope these steps might be helpful for some of you. And thank you, thank you very much. And hope to see you in some other video.